Hello, hello. Turn my wind machine off. Sir David the Bard, I'm coming to you from uh, Carty's jail. This is the place where uh, Joseph Smith <laughs> shot. I think he killed one and wounded two others. But anyway, uh, Joseph Smith, the famous pedophile from the Mormon church, uh, and uh, his brother was killed here, and so was Joseph. And I th was it Will Woodruff that hid under the bed? <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, I, uh, I'm here in Carthage, and uh, they used to have Joseph's blood on the floor. Now, I don't know if it was Joseph's blood or not. It used to be when you took a tour here, you know, you look down, they had this piece of glass on the floor, and uh, that's, I think that's where the blood atonement came from, but I think it's been erased. And, but the window's there, you know, where he... He, um, <laughs> he was wearing his garments. I don't know why he was trying to jump out a window. I don't know. Uh, but when he yelled out the window, um, the, the Masonic uh, general uh, cry for help, uh, is there no help for a poor widow's son? Is there no help? I can't remember. <laughs> You'll correct me. You always do. You correct me. Anyway, I found an interesting article I thought was kind of interesting because I've been divorced five times. I don't think anything's wrong with me. I think I just got a bad batch of women. <laughs> anyway, this guy and his wife, they get divorced. Well, he's not happy. A man is not happy after a divorce? Well, anyway, he is set on revenge. I loved it in Camelot, uh, the movie, uh, when uh, Sir... Not Sir David the Bard, Sir King George, Sir Round Table Guy, the Camelot. <laughs> Damn, I ain't being old. Anyway, he said revenge is man's most worthless cause. And the Chinese have a very interesting statement. They say, uh, before you go on a, uh, a trip for revenge, dig two graves. Well, some wisdom there. Anyway, they got divorced. Well, <laughs> he didn't get the house. So he went out and he bought the house next door to her house. Now that's bad enough right there, you know, where you can look out the window and peek over in the bathroom window, <laughs> you know, shit like that. Play loud music. Bug the crap out of her. Now I know, I know a lot of you women don't think this is so funny. But I try to be even here. I try to be fair. Sometimes men are crazy. Sometimes men are crazy. <laughs> anyway, he buys the house next door to her, and she has a new boyfriend. And he doesn't like the new boyfriend. Now, I guess the guy's got a little bit of money to screw around with this kind of stuff. So he, he puts up a 12-foot <laughs> bird. Not an angry bird, the bird bird. <laughs> this bird, 12 feet high, and she looks right out her window, and that's all she can see on that side of the house is this huge middle finger statue. Now, they went to courts and everything, I guess, to find out if it was legal, and it was. <laughs> it's art. <laughs> anyway. It's not bad enough that she has to look at this thing in the daylight. In the, this expensive neighborhood. But he put a floodlight on it like a flag at night. <laughs> so her and her boyfriend, when they're in there, you know, jumping up and down on the bed, and, and they, they can see through the curtain the light <laughs> that the ex-husband put on the middle finger. So anyway... Let's um, uh, let's move. Let me give you the. Uh, I'm, I'll put the link down for you. It's up on Yahoo. Uh, it's in Odd News, and uh, it says, "Man unhappy with ex-wife buys house next door to her and puts up gigantic middle finger statue." So it's kind of a cute story, kind of a fun story, I, I guess. <laughs> you know, it's fun to us because. It, and, and when you look at the finger. 
when you look at the finger in the picture, it's covered up. I couldn't figure out when I saw the statue, you know, I didn't see the finger. Well, they put a little uh, block over the finger because I guess, you know, you can show boobs and everything else, but you can't show a middle finger uh, on TV in our society. So anyway, it's Fox uh, 2 News, and uh, it's in Yahoo, and it's uh, November 18th at uh, 4.10 p.m., so anyway, look down on the link and uh, enjoy uh, the middle finger. I have many times. <laughs> Thank you.